Hey Aces, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to discuss Coach Deion Sanders and his trajectory going from Jackson State to Colorado. So as we know, Jackson State University is an HBCU. It's a historically black college and university and it was struggling financially and Deion Sanders came on the scene, came and basically revitalized not only the university, but the surrounding community. If you guys don't know, Deion Sanders is a very well-known, popular football player back when you know I was a kid. He was known as this very flashy, charismatic, charming football player who actually even came out with a video titled must be the money <laughs> so um you know he is nicknamed prime time came in said you know the lord sent him to jackson state he didn't want to take an assistant coaching position at a different university so he came in as the head coach and he brought a lot of money and a lot of attention to Jackson State University at a time where, you know, Jackson, Mississippi was struggling. They were having issues with their water not being treated. It wasn't, you know, drinkable. And I can, I can admit that he definitely brought a lot of he revitalized the community, right? He brought a lot of money. He encouraged the players. He encouraged the families. He, you know, had a winning season and they were undefeated. And so for him to leave after being such a beacon of hope, I feel like a lot of people are divided, right? So he's chosen to, after, you know, again, coming in, being such a leader and revitalizing a struggling community, bringing not only talent and money into the community, but hope. I think that's, that's the intangible asset that a lot of people are struggling with because, you know, we've all gone through these past few years and it's been extremely difficult with COVID and inflation, you know, there's wars all around the world. And so Deion Sanders taking the time to go to Jackson State, leading the football team and being such a, an encourager to not only his players, but to the surrounding community a lot of people were, were hurt um, in his decision to leave them and go to Colorado State. So I'm going to read this statement from Jackson University. It says, on behalf of the entire Jackson State University family, I'd like to thank Coach Prime for the outstanding work and program growth he's achieved in these three years together. He left an indelible mark on JSU and all HBCUs. Coach, you're reminded You've reminded and educated many on how important and vital our institutions are to this country. We are grateful for the investment of your time and talent, and we wish you all the best on your next endeavor. Once a tiger, always a tiger. So it's a beautiful, touching sentiment, right? That he came in and for three years, you know, he even donated his half of his salary to helping the facilities at Jackson State. And a lot of HBCUs have been underfunded and they've actually sued federally, right? Because they are underfunded. But for Deion Sanders to leave them after building them up, a lot of people are invited, right? So some people say, you know, he wasn't meant to be there forever. He did build them up and they can continue on that legacy. 
other people are saying, you know, he abandoned them after building up their hopes and knowing that, you know, he was the rock of the foundation that they built their their um their victories on. And he's such a vital part of Jackson State University. A lot of people are saying that, you know, he went to Colorado State specifically for you know, the money and the, and, <laughs> and as Kiki Palmer would say, and I'm going to make a video about her because she is amazing as well. Um, but the gag is Colorado State, they don't even have the money right now to pay them the salary that they promised him. So that's very interesting, right? That he left a school that did guarantee him a salary to go to uh, HBCU, to go to a PWI, which PWI stands for predominantly white institution. So he's gone to a PWI and they don't have the money that he was promised coming on as a, as a head coach. So in their, in their season, while Jackson State, he left them, they were 12-0, and 0, they were undefeated. Colorado is 1-11. They only won one game, and they lost 11. So and then there was a woman um, on Twitter saying that, you know, like she saw Deion Sanders hyping the crowd up, and she was like, I can't wait for him to bring this energy to Colorado. And a lot of people in the comments were saying, you know, you're getting Deion Sanders. You're getting prime time. You're not getting the culture of HBCUs. And that's what I love. And if you guys are wondering, I've, I've gone to both. <laughs> so I've attended both a PWI, a prominently white institution, and I graduated. And I've gone to an HBCU. And I will say as a Black woman that I immensely appreciated the culture of the HBCU so much more than the PWI. However, on the flip side, the infrastructure, the funding, and, um, you know, there are cons, and there are pros and cons to both, right? So the infrastructure, you know, was better at, at the PWI. But again, that comes from funding. HBCUs have been so attacked and underfunded that they're doing the best with what they can, with, with, you know what I mean, with what they have. They're making a dollar out of 15 cents as black folks do all the time. And so I'm wondering if, you know, Deion Sanders was going back to his roots when, you know, he was a professional football player and made that <laughs> and made that video, you know, bus be the money. Dun, 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 we all must be the money. Bus be the money. Like that was his song. And I remember listening to it when I was a kid. And I was like, wow, you know, like this guy's a one track mind. So I don't know if that was his mindset. Um, only Deion Sanders can know. The the speeches that he gave his, his players, again, a lot of people are torn. A lot of people are saying that it was, um, it's controversial to say the least, right? I, I, I can't get into the specifics of it, but what I will say is that, um, you know, Deion Sanders said that the Lord led him to Jackson State, and then the Lord led him to Colorado State, or Colorado University, and um, I'm hoping that that's true. I'm hoping that, you know, because um, he was he was comparing his players to luggage you know he's like well you know my but my luggage is louis vuitton i don't i don't know i'm torn you know a lot of times in my life i will say there are times where you know i could hear the lord's voice and hear him leading me but then there have been other times where i thought it might have been the lord leading me and i was completely wrong so i'm hoping that that's not the case in Deion Sanders' life, but his coaching, you know, trajectory, we will see. I look forward to seeing what's in store.
but my heart goes out to his players because I know that they feel, some of them at least, have voiced, and they, they said that they felt abandoned by Deion Sanders. And all I can say is, you know, take the, the victory, the things that he taught you, and go forward. You're an undefeated season. All those players at Jackson State University, you know, you guys are going to do well and prosper, continue to build on the things that he instilled in you and and go forward, go forward in life. So I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Like, like I said, a lot of people are really still divided on Deion Sanders and his decision. So it's a, it's a bit controversial, but let me know. Drop down in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. And um, please like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you know when I make a next video. And I'll talk to you little people later. Take care. Bye.